guys, welcome back. I am so excited to introduce you to these three little chicks that I am currently taking care of. Now this tiny little one is a bantam, and that is basically a really small little chicken, like a, a mini chicken or a teacup chicken, I guess. <laughs> and this big one here is actually a peacock. And this big one, I posted up some photos on Instagram when he was hatching, and you guys were really excited to meet him. Now for those of you that aren't aware, we do have a lot of free range birds, peacocks, chickens, guineas, ducks, things like that. And I don't include them in the All My Pets video because they are free range, so therefore it's hard to keep track of all of them. So let me tell you how I came about having these three little chicks that currently all they want to do is cuddle and go to sleep right now. So the tiny little chicken, you've actually met his mother if you've watched my chick and duckling care video. That one I made last year and she is the tiny, tiny little chick in that video. So he really takes after his mom, he's so little. Now this year she made her own nest and sat on her eggs. And I actually posted a photo on Instagram of her when I found her on her nest a few weeks before the chick started hatching. So then afterwards her chicks hatched and she went ahead and left the nest. Now it's really normal that when a ground bird is on a nest, they wait for most of the eggs to hatch and then once the chicks are done hatching, they get up from the nest and they take them to find food and water. However, sometimes an egg hatches late or not even until the mother actually has left the nest and this egg gets left behind and the chick usually dies. So in this case, the hen had gotten up from the nest and she'd left and then Hyman found that one of the eggs was still trying to hatch and that was this little guy. Now he was really struggling to get out of his egg but he was trying really hard. This little chick is a fighter and just really wants to survive. So Hyman helped him get out of his egg. Now it is really difficult to help a chick hatch, any kind of egg to hatch because if you're not careful enough you will kill them or severely injure them. So it's really difficult, however Jaime actually managed to do it. He got the little chick out of its egg and then once he was out of his egg we were able to see that he did have a few issues. He would have never been able to hatch by himself. His beak is pretty crooked and then he only has one eye that has developed. The other eye just isn't even there and the eye that has developed isn't very useful. From what I can tell, it hasn't developed all the way and I think that he can see shadows, but he can't see much more than that. But the little chick was such a fighter and he really wanted to survive, so we wanted to help him. And he can't eat by himself, so we have to hand feed him. I've been pretty much caring for him several times a day, hand feeding him. And the issue is, is that chicks actually learn how to eat by watching other chickens. They see them pecking at something and then they go and try to do that and they learn how to eat. But this little chick is blind, so he can't learn how to eat like that. And because he's blind, he still hasn't learned how to eat by himself. He is learning how to drink water by himself though. Of course he was kind of lonely since we were keeping him by himself and chicks want to be in a group. They like to be with a bunch of other little chicks. So after a few days of having him, first I wanted to make sure that he was going to survive because I wasn't sure if he might also have something internal that might cause him problems and keep him from surviving. However, after a few days he was pooping normal, he was starting to develop and doing good with me being able to just hand feed him. So I decided to get him a friend and we went to the feed store where they sell chicks and I picked out this little guy because she's so nice, she's so sweet, she's very calm, and she made the perfect companion for our little blind chick. So now he has a friend and he's been really happy with his little friend that he can cuddle with. And then a few days later we found a peacock nest. Now the peahen had already left her nest with the chicks that had hatched but one egg had started hatching much later. So we brought the egg inside, we put it under some heat, I went ahead and helped the egg a little bit since it was really struggling, and we got this little baby peacock. You can actually watch a video on peacock care if you click on the i card in the corner of the screen. I made a video about caring for peacocks and just all about them, and it's a really cool video because all of the footage is actually our peacocks here on the farm. So this little peacock hatched, and by now he can't go with his mother and all of his siblings because he is a day younger than them and that does have a significant difference on how developed they are. 
So he needs us to be able to survive. Now luckily I was able to get him hatching on video so you can go ahead and see that here where I help him a little bit. His beak's kind of coming out of one side, his foot's coming out of another side, and afterwards he's so exhausted. After coming out of an ache, they don't really know which way's up and which way's down or how to sit right. So they kind of flop around, they're all wet, and you know, life is a struggle from the very beginning, but they try really, really hard. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed hearing about our little chicks and seeing the peacock hatch. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be posting updates on these little chicks. I'm also taking name suggestions for the chicks over on Patreon which will be linked in the description. But I'll only be taking name suggestions on Patreon and not from here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!